guys welcome back to my channel my name is lola i am a us rn and a uk rn so welcome back for those of you who've been with me throughout this journey thank you for sticking with me um i am a registered nurse in the united kingdom and i am a registered nurse in united states um, I have a license in Texas and Georgia, and I'm currently in the process of getting my license for Florida. So guys, um, I just wanted to pop on today just to have a little conversation with you about where I am in my immigration process. Before we go further, just want to put up here um, for those of you who want to join up with my mentorship program for any nurses that is planning on migrating i will put my um thing up here to um reach out to me my instagram up here as well and we can discuss what stage you are at in your process okay so guys where do i start okay let's see my immigration process has taken a little bit longer than what it should because my case was very complicated so a little background history i am a u.s um nurse that worked in america um back in 2013 in Atlanta. So I had a previous green card. It was a two year temporary green card. So when I came back to the UK, I did not get, renew my green card. Okay. So because all of this, we've had to reapply again now, if you've been following me before, you know from my previous collaboration with Jenny Mitchell and other YouTubers, I explained the reasons and also that I'm going through the process again and that I had a previous employer who filed my documents last year. So my I-140 was filed last year with the previous employer and it was approved in eight days. They did a premium processing and they filed. Now, if you know, if you don't know about premium processing, premium processing is 15 working days. USCIS has to give you an answer. They have to either approve, ask you for further information, uh, which is, uh, they say RFE, or they um, give you a denial. So my last one was, done and it was approved in eight days now this one was complicated with my new employer um because they didn't really know how to approach my case because it was different from the norm the norm meaning someone who has not gone to america you know stayed in america held a previous green card and come back and start in their process again. So that was my case here. Anyway, we did a back and forth together. Finally, we decided um, that it was probably best to file. After having a meeting with them about four weeks ago, we decided to go ahead and file and see how it goes. So we filed on the 24th of May. I popped it up here the date that we filed. And up here, on the 26th of May, we got an approval. This is the fastest I-140 approval I have ever seen. Okay. Anyway, so, even my case manager was shocked that we had a two days approval two days for i-140 to be approved wow that's amazing now of course like i said my last one took eight days so we're thinking because i was already on a system with a previous green card 
and a previous I-140 approval that they just pulled me up and they saw I had an alien number, I had a social security number and I was already in the system. So, heck, why would they take so long to approve? So, we think that's that was the case. Anyway, guys, I'm very pleased with the process and I'm hoping that it moves a bit quicker now that we've got an approval. So... We are now waiting for the um, visa bill. Um, my case manager said it will take at least four to eight weeks. My last visa bill from my previous I-140 was about four or five weeks. So once the visa bill is issued, we will pay the visa bill and it's something like 345 US dollars. My employer will pay that and then we'll see how we get on through the process. Now, so that's what's happening with me. So um, I'm hoping I don't get caught up at this point with retrogression, but um, we shall see. But so far, so good. I am very happy with what's going on. And, you know, um, I am slowly packing up my crap, making sure I'm not rushing, stressing. I don't want to do lastminute.com. Um, and, yeah. Right, guys. That was what I wanted to tell you. So, if you guys have any comments, pop it up in the comment section. Um, let me know if you want me to do a live Q&A. So for those of you going through the process, any international nurse, UK nurses, um, you know, we could do a live and you ask me questions. Now, I do want to share with you who my agency is because they have been fantastic. Now, as I said to you guys, my previous employer... I'm not going to mention their name. Um, they were an agency. My current employer is a direct hire. Now, I do endorse direct hires because it gives you the same benefits as a, an American nurse when you go with a direct hire. Because it's literally like your agency just finds the nurse which is me, they go through the immigration process, they get paid by the employer, they go through the immigration process, filing everything. Once you're filed, you're approved, you got, you know, had your interview and you exit the, the country that you were living in, you are now handed over to your current employer and they deal with you from there so there's no middleman that's a direct hire and in my opinion that's the best way to go so guys i have joined their referral program i will let you know who my agency is because before i was sort of not you know giving names out of agencies the best agencies i know some of you reached out to me on instagram asking about agencies blah 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 some of you had reached out to me asking about agencies blah 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 and i wasn't you know endorsing any agencies so now i am i am very pleased with my current employer um their name is worldwide i've popped up the information up here for you guys so it's worldwide health and i have also joined their referral program guys and i'm gonna pop the link down below do use my referral program link to if you're planning on joining up with a direct hire company they are very good um so if you use my referral program uh, reach out to me on instagram up here and we can discuss moving forward um and i can see what help i can give you in terms of joining up with worldwide health okay all right guys so um yeah let me know about the live q a happy to do it for you guys pop a little uh, uh, comments in the comment section and let me know what other videos you want me to do for you so that's 
the situation with me. I cannot wait to leave the UK and run to Florida. Okay, guys. So that's where I am at this point. Now, my motto in life is stressless and live more. That's the key to a good life. That way, guys, you age less and you live a long life. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today and see you in my next video. Bye guys.